Hello? Hello? Anybody here? The Shining was released in 1980 as Stanley Kubrick's 11th feature film. Receiving less than a favorable response at the time, it has gone on to be regarded as one of the greatest horror movies ever made. Here are the top 10 weird but true facts. Stick around to the end for a bonus fact. Number one, director Stanley Kubrick is known for shooting many takes of a scene before he's satisfied with it. For example, after Jack goes off the deep end, he confronts Wendy in the Colorado lounge and she hits him with a baseball bat. I'm not gonna hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. I'm gonna bash them right the fuck in. This scene actually went into the Guinness Book of World Records as the scene that was shot over the most takes. There were 127 in total. Number two. In order to create a very subtle sense of unease in the audience, the production design changes frequently. For example, the hexagonal carpet is a famous visual in The Shining. It's maybe most memorable when we see Danny playing with toy cars and a ball slowly rolls towards him. If you watch carefully, the carpet changes direction. As the ball rolls into frame, the hexagon is facing Danny and when the camera angle changes it's facing opposite, away from him. Number three, the biggest star in The Shining is Jack Nicholson, who plays Jack Torrance. But Stephen King, who wrote the novel, wanted an everyman actor for the role. He suggested John Voight, Christopher Reeve, or Michael Moriarty. Kubrick, on the other hand, considered Robert De Niro, Robin Williams, and Harrison Ford for Jack. He dismissed De Niro after watching Taxi Driver because he didn't think he was psychotic enough. And he dismissed Williams after watching the comedy series Mork and Mindy because he thought he was too psychotic. Number four, Danny Torrance was played by child actor Danny Lloyd, who was just six years old at the time of filming. Kubrick protected Lloyd from some of the horrors of the movie by making Lloyd believe that he was in a drama film. Also, there's a scene where Wendy shouts at Jack, you did this to him, having discovered bruises on Danny. It isn't Lloyd, but a life-size dummy of him that Shelley Duvall holds. Number five, since the release of The Shining, many theories have been put forward about what Kubrick was trying to say. The strangest concerns the Apollo 11 moon landing of 1969. Some people believe that Kubrick directed the famous moonwalk footage and gave us some clues in The Shining. For example, Danny wears a sweater displaying Apollo 11. And if that's not weird enough, many of the eerie events take place in room 237. Earth is 237,000 miles to the moon. Just a coincidence, or is it? If you're enjoying this content, please hit the like button and support the channel. Thanks. Now back to the countdown. Number six. The title, The Shining, refers to the mysterious telepathic abilities Danny displays, shared by Mr. Halloran. My grandmother and I could hold conversations entirely without ever opening our mouths. She called it Shining. Author Stephen King took it from the John Lennon song, Instant Karma. In that song, Lennon repeats the lyric, We all shine on. We all shine on. Number seven. One of the most psychologically intense scenes is when Shelley Duvall finds Jack's typewriter and finally sees what he's been working on. It's page after page with the same line written repeatedly. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Naturally, it was somebody's job to type out all of those pages. That somebody was Kubrick's assistant, Emilio D'Alessandro, who spent months hand typing it. Number eight. <laughs> Perhaps the most famous scene in The Shining is where, with a terrified Wendy having locked herself in the bathroom, Jack breaks the door down with an axe. Kubrick originally shot the scene with a fake door, but Nicholson, who prior to acting, had worked as a volunteer firefighter, broke it down with ease. So Kubrick used a real door for the following takes. The scene took 30 days to film, and in that time, Nicholson got through 60 doors, a rate of two per day. Wendy? 
I'm home. Number nine. At the point Nicholson smashes through the door, he pokes his head through and sneers. Here's Johnny. Nicholson improvised the line and took it from late night talk show host Johnny Carson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. Because Kubrick was living in England at the time, he wasn't aware of The Tonight Show and didn't understand the cultural reference. As such, he almost removed it from the final cut. Number 10. Stephen King didn't like the casting of Jack Nicholson as Jack Torrance. Anything you say, Lloyd. Anything you say. Because of his starring in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, King felt that people would immediately identify Jack as a loony. King wanted to see Jack gradually descend into madness. He said, quote, if the guy is nuts to begin with, then the entire tragedy of his downfall is wasted. Bonus fact. By the climax of the movie, the Overlook Hotel and hedge maze are under a foot of snow. The snow wasn't real and was actually made of 900 tons of salt and polystyrene. The maze itself was built around two thirds of the actual size at an airfield nearby. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please hit the like and subscribe button and check out more cool videos on this channel.